fight. You ready? Well, how good is it to see Nick Diaz, the pride of the 209, back in the octagon tonight? Unfortunately, inactivity has become part of the narrative, but there's no denying when Nick Diaz competes, it is must-see television. He's always fighting one of the best. Those knees to the body. Huge left hand. Oh! Oh, a big left hand. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Closing up now, not good for him. Nice punch to the head. Oh, lands another hook. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Diaz's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. There it is again. Look at that. Eye's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Keep your hands up. Your his eye is closing up. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Back to the knee. Oh! All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knee is. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, clean hook there. There's the horn signifying the end of the round, and the doctor's not going to let you continue as a one. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He <laughs> is swollen up top. I mean, he... You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Well, an appreciation. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, we know you fans out there generally don't. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. He's hurt bad. Back to his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. Back to his feet. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. So far, a frantic pace as expected. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation. Like that, it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. 
He's got to be careful here. Diaz is going for the sub here. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh, an even better job to escape. Creativity getting to that submission, but also creative defense in order to survive that submission. Well, no fear in our process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew. I'm trying to set up a submission now. Looks like he's got that submission locked in. He's really advanced now. Looks like he's going to get a finish. You've got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out of the insane. Both fighters back to their feet now. Quick pause in the action here. Hopefully this won't be the end of the fight, but some serious swelling around that eye, and I'm not sure the extent to which his vision has been compromised. I don't know how much he can see right now. He seems to be trying to find the opponent, but his spirit isn't broken. Yeah, and that'll do it. Kind of got to be able to see the opponent if you're going to fight in mixed martial arts, and that eye is essentially closed, so that marks the end of the fight. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen,